Avenue will be crippling to all. Um, on the issue of Syria, you know that this is uh, going to consume uh, much of our week. Uh, we certainly strongly support uh, the draft text that Morocco has tabled. Uh, we think it's vitally important that the Security Council support and embrace the Arab League plan in toto, uh, and we will certainly be maintaining that position as uh, the Council discusses and debates next steps, including the text on the table. We're looking forward to tomorrow's session when we will have the Prime Minister of Qatar uh, as well as the Arab League Secretary General briefing the Council. Secretary Clinton will be here on behalf of the United States, uh, and I believe other ministers will be in attendance, and we look forward to an important discussion in the Council, followed by continued negotiations. Uh, sorry, just a question on Syria. Um, how hopeful are you that the Council might be able to have a vote on the resolution by the end of the week, which is what we were hearing from some diplomats was the goal, given that the center point of the Arab plan is this political transition of power, uh, where Bashar al-Assad is supposed to delegate power to a deputy, and the Russians have come out very strongly against that. You had Lavrov at the weekend saying any transfer of power um, would be absolutely unforgivable. Well, we think this resolution is timely. We don't see uh, a great deal of reason for an extended negotiation. Uh, we certainly will go through the process uh, led by the Moroccans of uh, discussing and debating the text at expert level and, and PR level. Uh, but we think that, that what is contained in this resolution is quite straightforward. There are no sanctions. There is no uh, use of force or, or threat of the use of force, as some have alleged. It is primarily a straightforward condemnation of what has transpired, a call upon the government of Syria to adhere to the commitments it made to the Arab League and an endorsement of the Arab League plan, which we think is, is uh, vitally important and the minimum that the Council should do. Ambassador Rice, could you, is there, are there negotiations on that going on at the moment? Because Mr. Lavrov made pretty clear that he's not going to accept it um, in, the, in the form that it is now. So um, or can you give us a, a, a tenor of the talks, if any, that there's going on? And, you know, is expert level enough, or are we going to see foreign ministers negotiating this uh, tomorrow here? We began the discussion on Friday, as you know, when the Moroccans introduced the text. Uh, we will discuss it again uh, at expert level today, and I expect that uh, we will discuss it further at uh, perm rep level this week. I don't anticipate uh, that ministers will be negotiating this text tomorrow. Given the uh, Syrian government's refusal to accept the Arab League plan, how important do you think it is for the Security Council to pass this resolution? What difference do you think it could make? And how important is Russia to that effort? Um, how important is it to have them on board? Well, we obviously think the optimal outcome would be a unified statement, a unanimous a statement out of the Security Council embracing the Arab League plan. And let's step back and look at what has transpired. First of all, we have had 10 months of horrific and escalating violence perpetrated by the government against its people. This has led to uh, Syria's neighbors, uh, as well as uh, the United States, uh, the European Union, many members of the international community, and now most urgently and importantly, the Arab League stepping in to try to prevent a worst-case scenario in Syria. That is our objective, the protection of the people, the ability for them to exercise their rights uh, peacefully and without the threat of violence, and, of course, uh, the aspirations of the Syrian people to be recognized. The Arab League has now taken a very important step in addition to its initial effort to deploy monitors and to, to table the plan that uh, it did last year, to call on the parties to come together under a plan in which there would be uh, a, 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 an effort by Assad to, to yield responsibility to his vice president, a unity government, uh, a constitutional process that would lead swiftly uh, to democratic elections. We think that's vitally important. Uh, we have seen the consequences of neglect uh, and inaction by this council over the course of the last uh, 10 months, uh, not because the majority of the council isn't eager to act. It has been, uh, but there have been a, a couple of very powerful members who have not been willing to see that action take place. That may yet still be the case. Uh, we'll see. I don't want to prejudge where this will end up, but we certainly think 
that it's vitally important uh, for the council to stand up and support a process that the neighboring states all have come to us and said, please support, because the alternative is more violence and intensified chaos. Yes, months ago, uh, there was the risk, uh, Pillai mentioned, of the country descending in civil war. Do you think we're at that stage yet? Has the country, is in fact, is it in civil war? I think we're at a critical point where the violence is escalating. Uh, and indeed, with each passing day, it seems more and more civilians are being killed, more and more people are being killed, and that's of grave concern. I don't know if there's a point on the calendar when one can uh, determine that it is uh, morphed into something different. I'm certainly not going to, to make that judgment of prediction. But what is clear is that the situation is deteriorating. Uh, it's increasingly grave. More and more innocent people are dying. We've seen uh, horrific reports of women and children uh, and their bodies uh, on display as a consequence of, of, of government-sponsored violence. That needs to end.